Hey guys, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hope you're all doing good. So this is a tutorial in which I'm going to teach you about creating a grid layout using PyQt5. In the last tutorials, we have seen creating a window and uh, like creating the text boxes like by buttons and then performing certain actions. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a grid layout in which we'll be having different buttons. So let's go ahead and start writing the code. Uh, this is a code which we have used for creating the uh, window so I'm going to use the same code along with that for getting a grid layout I'm going to write on the simple lines of code now the first step what I have did like uh, I have imported certain uh, Q, Q push button Q hedge box layout Q group box Q dialog and QV box layout and Q grid layout for to be used in the program for creating a grid layout so let's get started by writing the code as uh, after importing by importing all the q push button uh, q group box q dialog we are going to start writing the code the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the grid layout by using self dot create here we go let's take in and self dot create grid layout here we go we have uh, used the create grid layout now what we are going to do we are going to create a variable called window layout in which we are going to use our qv box layout which we have imported which is coming from here so we have imported the q uh, qv box layout now i'm going to use the window layout which i have created just right now by using dot operator i'm going to use at widget which is going to i'm going to apply self dot horizontal and i'm going to use group box here we go so we have used the window layout dot add widget and use self dot horizontal group box now what i'm going to do I'm going to create a method of reserve dot show which is I'm going to use definition which is df create grid layout there we go and inside the parentheses I'm going to pass on the self keyword now let's go ahead and use Self dot horizontal group box which we have imported and inside this let's call on q group box followed by let's provide a letter called here we go inside the uh, apostrophe we are going to define it as grid so let's create one more variable called layout and inside that use q grid layout there we go so by using the layout which we have created dot we are going to use set column stretch and inside that let's provide a number called one comma four so here we go we have used those layout dot like self set column stretch now let's use layout dot set column and stretch again and here we are going to provide different number which is 2 comma 4 here we go we have uh, defined that now let's again use the layout which we have created and use the dot operator and provide add widget 
There we go, add widget and use the Q push button. Oops, here we go, it's checking in as we have imported. So, and provide the number inside the apostrophe, which is one, and provide the row, which is zero comma zero. Similarly, let's create nine buttons by using layout dot Q push add widget, which is again and inside that let's create Q push button and make it make this one as two followed by zero comma one. Similarly, we are going to do it for nine more uh, like seven more buttons by providing the same, which is layout dot add widget. And inside that, we are going to call on Q push button. Oops. There we go. Q push button. And provide the third one by providing 0, 2. Now, in the first row, what we are going to do, let's create one more layout.add widget and Use the Q push button and provide it and provide four and followed by one comma zero. This is the first one. Similarly, let's do it for other, which is according to layout dot add widget. And inside that, let's write Q push button followed by providing the 5 and 1, comma 1. Similarly, let's create again, which is layout.add widget. And inside that, we are going to use Q push button and provide the value of 6 followed by 1, comma 2. So let's go ahead and create the second row, which is by providing layout dot add widget and providing the Q push button and providing the number as seven followed by two comma zero. There we go. So now let's do it again, which is layout dot add widget and provide the Q push button. And inside that, we're going to provide eight and two comma one. Now let's do it for two comma two, which is by layout dot add widget. And inside that, we are going for Q push button and provide the number as nine and comma two comma two. Here we go. Lastly, what we are going to you do is like we are going to use the self keyword dot horizontal group box dot set layout and inside that we are going to use the layout which we have created. Here we go, it's coming from here. So that's it. So we have created the layout dot add widget, which is the button. And defined on everything. So here we go, we have written down the code. The expected output is a grid layout in which nine different buttons will be coming in. So let's go ahead and now run the program. Now we are going to run the program. Let's run the program. Here we go. So as you can see, a grid layout has been created in which we have the different numbers uh, inside the buttons which we have created, which is coming inside the grid layout box. So here we go, nine, here we go, nine different buttons along with numbers, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to explain what uh, what is coming from where. So these are the nine buttons which we have created inside the grid layout, which we have uh, created the grid layout 
by using the layout variable inside that we have this grid layout and uh, we also provided the two which is one comma four and two comma four as column stretch followed by we created the buttons so this is the code for creating the grid layout so pyqt5 layout is coming as a label which is pyqt5 layout so this is how we are going to create the program hope the session was clear in the coming tutorials we are going to create more fun stuff using the pyqt5 I'd suggest you to go through all the other PyQt5 tutorials as well in the coming tutorials as uh, more fun stuffs are coming in. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining with Programming Knowledge. See you in next tutorials. Bye, guys.